Hello friends, this is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the for each loop. In previous video tutorial, I have shown you how to iterate list of things or collection of like list like collection like list or set how you can iterate using for each loop and this method have been added in the JDK 1.8 and this method is available in iterable interface right and all collection usually implements this iterable interface so that's why you are able to access for each loop and this for each loop always accepts consumer and consumer is again a functional interface right so that's why we are while using the for each loop we are able to pass the lambda expressions so in brief explanation about the for each loop java provides a new method for each to iterate the elements it is defined in the iterable as well as a stream uh, interfaces uh, there is a stream interfaces and here you can see for each loop is here also so when you deal with the stream api then it, you can make use of the for each loop uh, which is available in the stream interface collection classes which extends iterable interface can use for each loop to iterate elements uh, this method takes a single parameter which is your functional interface so you can pass lambda expression as an argument uh, there if you look into the stream stream interface then there is one more method is called for each ordered method and basically this method uh, this method basically it is used to iterate elements in the ordered specified by the stream so basically this method usually do not use for the collection but when you use stream api which is the next video series uh, and there I will discuss about the what is stream API and there we can make use of for each uh, ordered for each ordered uh, method now again the main advantage of using for each method is when it is invoked on parallel stream in that case you don't need to write code to execute in parallel therefore whenever parallel executions could possibly improve the performance of the program the for each method should be considered as a good option again when you use for each loop uh, to iterate any collection then this iteration is basically for each basically that is a part of the collection framework so this is uh, also called the internal iteration but when you when you make use of the for uh, I mean enhanced for loop right when you make use of the enhanced for loop like this how do you iterate uh, I mean using enhanced for loop like this right you have a students then variable name and then colon and this collection if you want to iterate then collection name and this is called enhance for loop and this way also you can iterate elements right and when you run it then almost you will get the similar output right so but there is difference between internal implementation of these two loop so basically this loop is considered as a external loop and when you use for each method and when you pass I mean uh, lambda expression to iterate each elements of this collection then this is called internal iteration so basically that's why this is this is internally built on the collection framework but this is external iteration right so this is like uh, when uh, you put the set of uh, set of elements or collection of elements in a bag and you are just uh, uh, taking one uh, one by one elements from the bag and uh, sending for the process so that's why this is less perform uh, performance and when you use for each loop then this is more faster than for each loop or even though when you iterate I mean collection using iterator that is also considered as a external iteration uh, and this is considered as a 
internal iteration so whenever uh, you need to iterate collection then you should prefer I mean for each loop instead of uh, enhance for loop or iteration uh, iterator so even if you want to iterate this elements using iterator you can do as well but this is considered as an external iteration and you have a student list and then you can access iterator right and you got the iterator element and you can make use of the while loop and iterator iterator has a has next element as long as elements is in your collection this method will return you true and here of course you can print the uh, elements like iterator dot next which will return you the element and this way you can get the every elements from the collection right but first approach is consider as a faster I mean for each is, is the faster than uh, enhance for loop as well as iterator so that's all I wanted to discuss in this video tutorial thanks for watching this video on next video tutorial we are going to see how to iterate map using lambda expressions so please be with me over there and thanks for watching this video